Hi everyone. This question here says the distance between Parksville and the Duke Point Ferry Terminal on Vancouver Island is 50 kilometers. Okay, there we go. That's an important number. A person drives from Parksville to the ferry terminal. Okay, and so here we go. So let's just zoom in a little bit on this graph. Okay. Now, the first question that we're going to ask here is what do the intercepts represent and why are they equal? Okay, well, let's take a quick look at the graph here first. Notice that my in in the way they've set up this graph here, my my independent variable here is the distance from the Parksville, and my dependent variable is the distance to Duke Point Ferry, okay, or the Duke Point Terminal there. Um, what do the okay? What do the re intercepts represent here? Well, let's take a look at the horizontal, uh, inter sorry, the vertical. I should say the vertical intercept. Let's talk about that. So the vertical intercept, okay, is going to be equal to the distance. Okay, from uh, Duke Point. Now, just let's just think about that. Okay, the distance from Duke Point, because now look at the graph here. Distance to Duke Point uh, is going to be 50 kilometers. Now, horizontally though, this is uh, the x values here refer to the distance that we are from Parksville. In this case, that distance is zero. So, this is going to be the distance from Duke Point um, when we are at, okay, whoops, can't see that, Parkville. And really all that's saying is that these two places are 50, 50 kilometers apart. Now let's take a look at the other intercept here. The horizontal intercept is also 50. So we'll say it like this, our horizontal intercept okay, and what this represents here is going to be the distance from, now in this case, distance from Parkville when we are at Duke Point. Okay, so there we go. Because again, the, the x value at this point right here is 50, however the y coordinate, the dependent variable here, is going to be down to zero. And remember, that represents the distance to Duke Point, so we're at Duke Point here. Now, the second question though is, why are they equal? And the answer is they're, they're equal, okay, whoops, they're equal because um, they are 50 kilometers from each other. Okay, whoops, they are 50 kilometers from each other. I mean, when you're when you're at Parkville, you're 50 kilometers away from Duke Point. When you're at Duke Point, you're 50 kilometers away from Parkville. That's that's why. That's kind of a, a reciprocated relationship there. Now let's take a quick look here at the next question. And it says, what is the rate of change? Why does it not have any units? And what does what does it indicate? Okay, well, the rate of change, remember, this is going to be, and we, we represent it with M, and this is going to be the change in the Y coordinate over the change in the X coordinate. In this case, when you take a look at the graph here, you'll notice that we, we start off here at 50, and it's a vertical drop of 50. So we might write here negative 50 kilometers over, and then to go from, again, this point to this point, we go horizontally over 50 kilometers, so over 50 kilometers. And the answer is just negative 1. Now, why does it not have units? Because the units cancel. Okay, kilometers over kilometers cancels. Now, what does it indicate? Okay, well, what this indicates here, okay, we've got a, basically, with, without any kind of need to represent or to discuss the, the units here, it just indicates a, a loss of a unit, okay, vertically, for every gain horizontally. Okay. Which is essentially what we're seeing here, okay? Uh, every time we get one kilometer closer to, to Duke, or sorry, to uh, where are we going here? One step closer to Duke Point, we're moving one kilometer further away from Parksville. 
So how would interchanging the dependent and independent variables change the graph? It wouldn't. Okay. Uh, this particular graph here, um, the, the inverse, if you will, this graph is identical to its inverse. Okay, and, and that's, that's easy enough to explain here because of essentially what we discussed in the previous question here. When you move one unit away from Parksville, you move one unit towards uh, Duke Point here. And so that, that relationship chain, uh, is exactly the same if you switch your starting location, okay? Switching the starting location does not change that relationship in this particular graph.